And so welcome back to the show, my good friend, Tim Bratz. Hey, Tim, welcome back. Hey, Jay. How are you doing, buddy? Great to be man. back. Thanks for having me, man. Absolutely. I'm so excited to have you back. You know, Tim, you have got an amazing story, but why don't you take a moment? I've got some questions I want to throw your way that I know the audience wants to hear all about. But first of all, tell people your backstory, how you got to where you are today, how you got into commercial real estate and how in the world you're qualified to talk about what you talk about. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, again, I appreciate you having me here. You're a huge inspiration, been uh, been a friend for a while and um, great to just kind of be interacting and stuff with you. So um, uh, yeah, I mean, I got my start going through college was 03 to 07 when everybody was making money in real estate, kind of the first go around. And um, that got me excited. I wanted to go and make money and, um, uh, so I was very motivated to get into real estate and I, I kind of started out in the trades and I had a painting company. I interned for a big commercial, um, or not commercial, but a residential home builder, one of the largest in the country and, uh, and realized I wanted to be an investor when I graduated in 2007. So I moved out to New York city. I thought everybody gets started by becoming a real estate agent. Um, I'm from Ohio originally Cleveland, Ohio, but I moved out to New York city and uh, got my real estate license and started brokering um, retail and office leases. Somehow I parked my, my license with a commercial brokerage instead of a residential brokerage and uh, was, was brokering these, these uh, retail and office leases. And it took me a while to close my first deal, but the first one closed in about eight or nine months and uh, just did the math on it. And it was, it was a dumpy little listing on a side street, Greenwich Village, a little 400 square foot space. And uh, that 400 square foot space rented for $10,000 a month. And they signed a 12 year lease term with a 4% annual increase. And as a money motivated kid, I was doing the math and I realized, wow, this landlord is going to make almost $2 million over the next 12 years for doing something once. And that was one unit, right? They had another seven retail spaces, 10 stories of apartments above it. And um, it just kind of hit me. I need to be owning real estate, not brokering real estate. So moved down to Charleston, South Carolina, not far from, uh, from where you guys are. And, um, uh, just decided to study, study, study and got all the courses and started plugging into the local real estate investors association. And, um, uh, right when I was like, all right, let's go and buy something. The market collapsed in 2008, the end of 2008. So, um, you know, showed up to the party, everybody's running out the back door and I'm like, where's everybody going? You know, I just got here. And, uh, uh, but it was kind of cool because it's th there was not a lot of competition. It was a very different market than you see today. Today, there's a lot of capital out there. And, um, you know, like your book teaches people how to access a lot of that capital. Um, and then sourcing some of those deals, right? Like the deals, some of the low hanging fruits, not as easily accessible as it was maybe 10 years ago. 10 years ago, you couldn't walk down the street without tripping over three foreclosed houses. And, uh, but there was no money anywhere back then. So it was very different and kind of opposite of today um, where there's an abundance of capital and uh, a lot fewer deals. So, uh, you know, back then I found great deals. I knew that they were great deals, but nobody was lending money. And so I, uh, you know, invested in some private money courses and kind of learned how to creatively structure uh, the financing and, and obtain the funding. And so I bought my first house with, um, actually with credit by increasing my credit limit and essentially buying it on a credit card, fix it all up. And then I got into you know, raising private money because nobody was going to lend a, a, you know, a 23 year old kid who'd never done a deal before in the worst housing recession ever, you know, 2009, nobody's going to lend, no bank was going to lend me money. So I had to go figure out how to go and raise private money. And so, you know, I showed my credibility. I showed people that I had a good work ethic, that I knew what I was doing, that I was willing to see a project through and, you know, sac make big personal sacrifices to make sure that uh, their money was protected and uh, got access to some private money and people put up some cash. They And I, I raised it in many different ways. Sometimes they were debt. Sometimes it was equity. Um, you know, they would they would put the money up and say, hey, let's split the deal 50 50. You know, I'm, I'm getting the money. You do the work and we split it. it was, so like we did some of that. And then there were other people who said, hey, I just want a fixed return. Pay me 10, 12, 15 percent annualized on the money. And we figured out a way to kind of reverse engineer the deals in order to make that work.
Thank <laughs> you.